Steve with Tech Savvy Agent, and I just recently put up a post about Snapseed, which is a photo editing app for the iPad. And uh, Anna from Snap Heal sent me an email and said, hey, why don't you check out our product, which is a photo editing app for the Mac. Uh, but rather than paying hundreds of dollars uh, like you usually do for photo editing apps, uh, this one is a fairly advanced program and it's only $15. In fact, it does some of the things that uh, I usually use Aperture to edit a lot of my photos when I don't need to do the big things in Photoshop. And it does some of the things uh, a little bit better than, than my Aperture program. So I want to give you the a quick run through of how this works and how it can help you with your real estate specific photos uh, because I think you're really gonna like it and it's at a price point of course that everyone can afford so I have a photo here on my desktop I'm gonna simply click and drag it like it instructs me to do up oh, pops up the photo as you can see that was really fast now this is pretty much a, a, a terrible photo uh, but we are going to go through and edit some of the things fix the grass take out the sticks maybe cut out the car that was parked in the uh, in the driveway there and also the person walking into the house as I said not a good photo but it makes a pretty decent one uh, to check out some of the editing tools now editing photos for real estate's a little bit different because you know you have a conundrum whether you should uh, take things out of the picture or, or you know should I leave it in um, and a good rule of thumb is if it's permanently affixed in real life if it's like a power line or something like that that you're not going to be able to remove in real life then you shouldn't take it out in your editing uh, however if the grass is a little bit brown and you want to make it greener well that's okay why because you know what the grass is probably greener at a different time during the year if you're gonna plant grass seed it's okay to fill in the grass as well as long as you're gonna do that um, and it's okay to make you know skies a little bit bluer and make your photos seem to pop a little bit more so let's do some of the basic adjustments adjustments here in snap heel and I'll show you how it can help you uh, the first tool that we have up on the top is the erase tool and this one's super simple to use I, I really like this because you can just paint in specific areas like parts of the grass that aren't filled in completely also let me make the uh, brush a little bit smaller sticks over here now this is a permanent pipe that's in the ground so I can't remove that but just for this example I'll show you you know we'll remove it anyway but you wouldn't really uh, remove that in real life so I edited a couple of things here I hit the erase button it'll take a couple seconds to load it actually loads fairly quickly considering some of the advanced calculations that it's doing to magically erase some of the areas that you highlighted and find uh, the nearby texture and fill that in and as you can see in a second here bam our grass looks good our stick is gone even the little uh, the, even the little uh, pipe in the yard is gone as well and it did a fantastic job let's talk about the clone stamp tool this is a neat tool that allows you to mimic or copy other areas of the photo so if I make my brush a little bit smaller here and I want to take out the person that's uh, about to walk in there sometimes you miss these things when you're taking the photos we can just tell the system what area we want to copy and we would click and then you can just paint in and you see how we're just painting in the mirror right there or I'm sorry the window and uh, we can obviously spend more time zoom in and take out her leg there as well but I just want this to be a you know a quick example so it did a very nice job of that also the car over here we almost missed that so let's just highlight the car and watch how easily it takes out this vehicle without any complex editing it just makes the the, <laughs> the bush look a little bit uh, bigger there now the vehicle's gone now you also have your basic commands like your retouching saturation sharpen um, you can lighten colors or darken colors uh, for grass you know you might want to consider taking your brush and going in and and as you can see we can paint in a nice green color I don't recommend the uh, the electric green color here I usually make my grass a little bit darker and then saturate it ahead of time but as you can see it's it's pretty easy just to paint that in uh, we can do the same thing with the blue skies and we could take our saturation you know up or down in the sky here as well and that makes it that's actually pretty nice it makes it a really nice blue color there and just paint it over by the trees so Again, this isn't going to be the best example of the photo. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of the tools. Now, global adjustments are easy. We can increase the brightness of the photo, the contrast, which I usually recommend, you know, adding a, a little bit of contrast to some of your photos, the exposure if it's too dark, 
color temperature, how warm or cool the colors are, all in simple sliders. Uh, so as you can see, the, the program's easy to use. Make your crops, make your simple edits, and we can simply share these photos back to our desktop, or we can upload the photos to Facebook, Tumblr, Flickr, Twitter, and obviously the last one is email there as well. Uh, so for $15, it actually contains some of the more advanced tools that you're gonna find in programs that are you know, $100 or you know, plus. Uh, it's fairly simple to use, so if you have a Mac, I recommend checking it out. It's called Snapheel, uh, and you can download it right from their website. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Steve Passanelli with Tech Savvy Agent.